guys just going into town pick nina up uh, she's just in at the bank at the moment i've just had to duck home to pick, uh, pick something up we forgot and we're going back in there now thought i'd bring you guys along and have a bit of a bit of a chat to you a bit of an update oh lights are green lights are green but watch out for the police and the police box over there Thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. Um, a lot has happened since my last update, which was just over a week ago, um, on the virus thingy that's sweeping the world. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. But first, uh, a word of warning to some people out there. My channel, Now in Lao, is a vlog channel. It is. Um, and for those who don't know what a vlog is, a vlog is like a video log of your day-to-day -day life. Mine is a Lao vlog channel. So it's my daily life, my daily experiences, living, traveling in Laos. In no way, shape or form is it a news channel or a political channel. Now, um, what I share on this channel Got to squeeze in through here up on the footpath. The lights are red here, but um, I don't know we've got a green arrow on most traffic lights, even without the arrows. If you've got a straight ahead red and you want to turn right, it's okay to do so as long as you're not running anybody over, it um, keeps the traffic flowing, stuff like that. It's not what we're here for. Um, where was I? Um, what I show on my channel is what I see, um, what I do, and my experiences. Um, politics doesn't play a part. I don't bring politics into it. Uh, the world's a shit fight as it is at the moment. Uh, no government is perfect, especially my own back home, let alone yours. So if you're coming to my channel to assert your um, bullshit, and political views and hate for a certain government in my comment section uh, be warned it's gonna be removed uh, along with you also so um that's it end of I'm just not gonna take any of that shit um, like I said it is my personal vlog channel um, call it what you will but at the end of the day it is my video diary of my life here edited in a way to be entertaining and you guys are just along for the ride you know, so um, go ahead critique my video my opinion things like that but if you're going to bring politics government and people into it and just use the comments to spread hate bye bye Hope you bloody guys are going now. Just talking to you, talking to you like a madman. You just weren't even bloody there. <laughs> How many years I've been doing this shit? Anyway guys, today, Sunday, 22nd of March. So it's very recent content. Thought I would give you guys a bit of an update on uh, what's ha happening in Laos. What's going on over here. A bit of an update on the vibe, the people, what's happening and a bit of an update on the restaurant how we're doing and um, how life is in Vientiane right now a lot has changed since last i think it was last sunday the last the, the first update video that i did for you guys so it's only been a week and in that week the cases in australia have gone from 250 to over um they're over 1200 now closing in on 1300 as neela watering the garden and the path as i was saying i don't know if i was saying might have been in the last one when i wasn't friggin recording we've closed the restaurant down a lot of large businesses in Laos 
are closing down. The gym, Coco and I, Nene's son, Coco, we're going to. That's closed down as of yesterday. We've been closed down as of last, middle of last week. So we thought this would be a prime opportunity to uh, do a bit of spring cleaning and do some Renault's adjustments to the place. Best time to do it now while there's no customers and council workers get on to the road repairs especially in and around Cessna now's the perfect time to do it there's no bloody people on the road so as you can see we are not in full lockdown um, as of the 22nd midnight the 22nd of March which is last night the 23rd today good morning no. good afternoon I gotta turn right up here somewhere I am getting better at navigating these streets. Still, you know, it's just little blocks at a time. I'm at in a neighborhood on here and there that I'm getting to uh, discover. Here we go. Turn right here. We are not in full lockdown. Um, all borders are closed. Nobody is coming in or out of Laos as of last night. There's a pool there with a gym. Nobody in the pool. I think all public pools are shut down now. But um, yeah, the borders are closed and all flights are closed as of last night. So it's a dead airport. If you're in here, you're staying in here by the looks of it. just in here at the bank at the moment I'm out here minding the car because we've had to leave it going we've got some um, alternator problems alternator problems come out this morning the battery was bloody flat the alternator isn't working so gonna have to get that checked fingers crossed these buggers are at work and haven't been and are not closed down where we're going but we'll be able to find somewhere that'll be able to fix it Nothing has really changed inside of Laos since last week. There's still no reported cases. Don't believe that for a second. Yeah, you know, that's just reported or tested cases, you know. But a lot of people are very careful, very wary. Yeah, you know, they're only going out for essential things. They are behaving just like any other country around the world, their, their citizens except for the fact of um, boarding they're not over by you know um, there was a thing in the Laotian times the other day people will be punished for hoarding uh, I think that was more of a warning towards the Farangs that are here because the Lao people are just not seeing it at all you know they just treating it like um not treating it like a normal day i can't freaking say that but they're just going about their lives normally but being careful hey no. hey 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 <laughs> this is gina our little niece and con this is neela's son con gina lives across the road here that's nene's nene's sister's place so everybody has just been sticking at home, hanging out in this little neighbourhood. Bye bye. It's like a ghost town at the moment. This uh, Nini Land, we will call it Nini Land, all along this dirt road it was Nini's land. Now his sister there, house here. The restaurant here but I'll show you guys what we're doing in the restaurant and we can talk more about um, the vibe as we go but for those who haven't seen it these trees are starting to get big and lush very good Nene built this um, we've got a video I'll put the video up here opening night it would have been shit 2017 I think check it out one of the biggest problems you have in Laos with a restaurant is if you're not on a main road 
people don't know you're there they're not going to stop now you'll find most restaurants are always on main roads pulling in passing traffic nini's got to advertise like a mad woman every day just to draw the crowd in it and she's done a phenomenal job now the people really do love to come and just sit out in the gardens and dine so this area here has sort of just sat vacant except for large parties and that we'd have in terrible weather that would be the only time it's been full but uh seems it's closed down the restaurant we've um getting the workman in so these were the main stairs the stairs you you'd come up from the garden yeah everybody's just dining down there incredible how quick these bloody trees grow eh? but this entire wall except for this door here was similar to that just a lot of timber and the door and it was very dark in there so we're taking all that putting windows right along there this roof here is new because all it was was that there before was the only undercover area so i'm only doing the renovations for the wet season uh, because being an outdoor restaurant people know it as an outdoor restaurant and come the wet season the the customers die off so if they know they've got a nice area you know with nice views indoors with lot, lots of ventilation hopefully they will continue to come that's the plan anyway okay guys um if you are think you do have any symptoms of it in Laos there are a few hospitals in Vientiane that I know of that is being tested that's being advertised the Mahasot hospital is the hospital in um, close to the Mekong in the tourist district and 103 hospital and the friendship 150 hospital and also the Sadahitharat Hospital. S E W T H A R T H I R A T H Hospital. You can see why I had trouble pronouncing that. Let's try again. Sadahitharat. Okay, there we go. Sadahitharat Hospital. I'm going with that. Um, can anybody be tested? Only people meeting the following criteria are eligible those who have symptoms including fever 37 degrees or more coughing and shortness of breath those who have recently had close contact with people from at-risk countries and those who have traveled at from at-risk countries in the last 14 days is the test free the test is free of charge for those who meet the testing criteria so you, you do need to show those symptoms that I read out earlier. That was another thing that I did read also. Anybody who is stuck in Laos and their tourist visa runs out, um, I did read that you will not be charged the $10 per, per day overstay. If, if you was to um, have a tourist visa here and you stayed a day over in normal times, you usually get charged $10 per day overstay so if you stayed a month over there's three hundred dollars you've got to pay you know and that's all it is it's just a fine but now because of this if you because you're trapped inside the country now i think they're wavering that uh, that's what i did read do not quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that's that's what's happening it would be highly unlikely for there to be no cases in here it's just that everybody is being careful and just getting on with their life um, and I'm just reporting what I'm seeing or hearing and when I say that we have not heard of anything it's what is on the grapevine people can say the government has control over us and that here but it cannot they cannot stop families and friends from talking whatsapping each other messaging and that's what i mean by when we haven't heard anything those messages aren't getting out yes some people may be afraid to put things on facebook guaranteed there is that type of censorship i guess but 
again it does not stop people from talking you know and families are, are huge here and have a really close sense of community and if it was if people did know about it here it would get out and it hasn't gotten out to us we haven't heard yet so i'm not saying it's not here let us know what you'd like to see i'm going to do a few videos getting in town of an evening um show you what it's like in the main tourist area of Vientiane and uh the times that we do go out and that you know that we need to go out to the shops i'll take you guys along for a bit of a look see and um give you a better idea of uh, what the vibe is like you know i i can talk until i'm bloody blue but you, you're still not going to really get an idea of what it is like here it um it is very quiet through the day even though we've got construction and that going on in the background being sunday our builders are off today but um yeah i always thought laos not just vientiane laos was always quiet in the middle of the day from 1 p.m to 4 p.m but now it, yeah it's even more so it's bizarre um it's unusual these builders are actually working sunday is used is what they call family day in laos and it's usually a day off for everybody and they'll go and hang out with their family go for a picnic and things like that uh, bloody noisy bastards hmm. so that's it um if there's anything else i'll just whack it in the vid somewhere hey all right guys uh Stay safe, stay your distance, and take care. Take care, it'll be over soon. It will be over soon. <laughs>